Hey friends, it is Leslie at the Cozy Yellow Cottage and look, it is fall. <laughs> I love these leaves so much. I just wish I could keep them up all year without looking crazy. So today we are gonna do a decorate with me where I didn't delete everything. It's not a decorate the room with me because you see I already did this, but we are going to set the table. My goal is to set the table to look like an outdoor picnic. Have you seen the pictures on Pinterest or in magazines of the beautiful chipped up table? Ah, oh, I love it. And it's set with these beautiful old china and pumpkins and leaves and linens and it's just in the woods. That's what I want. But I live in Baltimore. I mean, I could set the table in the backyard under the mulberry tree, but um, I think my little critters would make a mess. So the goal is to make it a cozy picnic type setting. So guys, I hope that you enjoy and thank you for coming along with me and I will see you at the end. So first, let me apologize for that terrible audio in the opening. Hopefully this will be better so you can see the porch is decorated and there are the leaves and the squirrel and the birds. <laughs> that little squirrel's been up there all year. And the day bed is all made and it took me a couple tries to get that right. I wanted to change the quilt this year and I just couldn't do it. I, I had to put the same quilt back on it. I just love that quilt. It's been here forever. Oh boy, I was excited. The table was empty. And I have this flannel here that I bought from Joanne Fabrics. I bought a whole bunch of different varieties to use as table scarves and filler, whatever. And then this little arrangement here took me like two hours I'm not kidding it was awful and I am using all of the leftovers because the sun porch is the last room to get decorated so these are some of the things that I had left I'm starting with the fabric and I just wanted to throw it on the table kind of messy kind of like a picnic blanket I figured if I make it messy I don't have to worry about messing it up later right <laughs> I started with the flower arrangement as the centerpiece and then I added these white plates I believe they are from the Dollar Tree I've had them for many years and they have set many tables too then I'm adding these amber wine glasses that I got at a thrift store years ago. Those two have been on many table settings. And then I am adding this um, buffalo check pumpkin. They are leftovers that I didn't use in the other rooms this year. And for my napkins, I'm just kind of using the basic napkin ring and pulling it through. I really wanted to be able to use those napkin rings. And I had some black plastic wear that I just tucked in there. So I tucked a sprig of that white feathery fern. I don't know what that is, but I really liked it. It came from Joanne Fabrics, by the way. <laughs> I think they look adorable. However, that white napkin really shows how dirty those pumpkins are. Look at that. 
and then I'm adding this a little what do you call that cloche a cloche I'm adding this candle holder and that's from Amazon I have that one and actually a larger one that came together hey everybody you guys remember this from last year I got that at oh home goods and it's blue sky brand I love it so much he is drinking a cup of coffee and wearing leg warmers I mean how cute is that so I have to tell you that some of the squirrels that you will see here I had in the living room and I was kind of looking like a crazy squirrel lady there were just too many squirrels grouped together so I had to take some out my husband said that it was looking a little nutty. <laughs> this was a gift from one of my neighbors and it is the first time that it's making it to a tablescape. These little guys I picked up at Big Lots last week. I thought they were so cute and it's, I, I really have a hard time passing up a squirrel. I, I, maybe I am a crazy squirrel lady. Look at him. <laughs> they are perfect out here. I just worry because they're wax candles that this sun porch gets really hot. It's not cold at all. I hope they don't melt. These blue pumpkins are from the Dollar Tree. I don't know, how, they're old. And you can see one's missing a part, so I hid that one in the back. And then I just added this little orange guy. Should I be talking through this whole thing? Because I would prefer to just put music on and just be visual. And then there's more of those clip-on pumpkins from the Dollar Tree. I'm just tossing those in. And of course, an outdoor table wouldn't be complete without leaves. I have plenty of leaves. <laughs> and here it is all finished and I love the table it looks so pretty so here's one last look at the room and before I jump back on I just want to tell you guys thank you thank you for the love you guys are amazing and um, you inspire me every day so thanks a lot guys I hope that you enjoyed creating this fall tablescape with me. I'm laughing because I just said that like 14 times and the windows are open. I hope that you enjoyed creating this fall tablescape with me. So friends, I really hope that you enjoyed creating this fall tablescape with me. I just love it and I love the coziness out here. Now we just need the weather to cooperate. So guys, thanks so much. God bless and have a wonderful day. Happy decorating lunch. <laughs> hey, no. Here, come on. Go get Charlotte. Go get it. Where's your horse? Get your horse. <laughs> he got his horse because he wants to have lunch. But Charlie doesn't have a horsey. Why is he don't have a horsey? Why is he don't have a horsey? Why?